Hello guys, today I'm going to make the pick a stick challenge. Uh, I've done uh, two so far, uh, the January and February one of 2016 and today I'm going to try and create the one for March 2016. Um, I've said it before but these challenges are quite intimidating but a really great fun to do. Uh, you just have to think outside the box a little and improvise a bit and uh, you will manage to get a nice page done but it's quite intim intimidating uh, that's for sure. Um, so looking through these tabs I picked out a few things of which I think I could use. I'm going to work in this little journal. I haven't done much pages in yet so I'm going to start in this one and uh, I will speed things up from here on and do a voice over. So let's go and make the best of this. So the first step is use something old and I picked out some ephemera, some old banknotes and an old envelope that had uh, a, a bluish grey colour that I liked and I am adding that with a Mod Podge to my page. Now with these challenges I always like to prepare myself a bit because they are quite difficult. And that is because you have to do these steps in order. Um, there are uh, uh, 10 steps picked and you have to do them in the order they are picked. So um, that's the difficult part of this. So when you want to go in a certain direction, sometimes the the order you need to take these steps in are making that very difficult. So I like to prepare myself for these challenges and uh, watch some uh, YouTube videos as well. So I can see uh, how others have done it and how uh, they uh, improvise. So uh, that helps me a lot and with preparing and thinking about which direction you want it to go and what material, which uh, materials you like to use, you often get an idea in your head and that helps uh, very much. So step two was use a random stamp set and I picked out a few stamps but only use the one with a script. And that is my favorite stamp and uh, very much like to use that so uh, I didn't use the others I picked out. And step three, uh, this was a scary one because it says transfer an image. I've done my uh, share of uh, transfer images. I tried uh, different ways to do that. None of them ever turned out very great. Uh, and with that thought in my head, I went into this. I just picked out an image of a butterfly and thought well if I only get a partial of this image on my page I'm happy and well it turned out quite okay it did um, uh, damage a bit in the middle uh, but that that was okay I was very happy with uh, the result of this transfer. What I did was simply uh, adding a Mod Podge to my page, then adding a Mod Podge to my printed uh, image and uh, put it on my page, let it dry and then when it's dry use a water to uh, soak it a bit and then you can rub the, the paper uh, away with your finger and um, well that worked. So step four is use gesso to cover up something and um, I used a stencil by my favorite things I believe and it's uh, a stencil of a brick wall and of 
course, the gesso to uh, cover some parts of my page up. I use my uh, standard gesso that I almost always use for this, but I wanted to try and do it with the heavy gesso as well, see if it makes uh, any difference, but it didn't all that much. So, And using a sponge to add it to my page. So the next step is step five, which says use paper scraps. And um, I have these two butterflies that were cut out of some paper, uh, some cardboard really, uh, paper I had. And this was painted paper I used for all kinds of things. And I cut out two butterflies glue them together with a golden gel medium because that was a bit of heavier cardstock and then the golden gel medium works best for me and glued it down to my page. And step six says use your favorite color and that is for sure a teal aqua uh, minty all kinds of uh, um, those kind of colors are my favorite and this was an acrylic ink by Liquid Text uh, which I uh, add a few drops to my page and then spray it with water, water to make it move. And then step seven, use paint or ink and then close the book. So what I do is use a white acrylic paint and uh, water it down and then use a little brush to make some splatters on my page. And as you can see, uh, I got splatters all over my shirt as well. And then I closed the book, which left a very nice texture at some places. And then step eight, add a picture. And this is an image of a clock and I'm cutting that in half and gluing it down with a Mod Podge. And then the next step says Zentangle or add patterns. Well, I don't do Zentangle and for the so for the patterns I used a stamp by Finna Bear and the stays on black ink. And the last step, step 10, print out your own photos and cut them up. This was actually a digital layout I made one once with um, uh, some products uh, by created by Nancy Barton, I believe. This page I made years and years ago, and it contains a great photo of my husband with his dad. And the word art that was uh, with it said, slow down. Um, oh, what was it again? Let me see. Sometimes I wonder, how have we come so far so fast? I thought this page uh, looked great. So I printed it uh, printed out and um, fuzzy cut uh, the image of uh, the photo. And I used a little knife, uh, which was very um, uh, handy was great to use, was very easy to cut out the image with that uh, little knife and um, also cut out the word art, the slow down text strip and gluing it all down with uh, the golden gel medium uh, because this was on a, a glossy kind of paper which was a bit heavier so I used the golden gel medium.
and to make uh, it all look more finished I'm adding some shadowing around the photo uh, and I'm doing that with the gray Faber Castell artist pit pen and immediately use a water brush uh, over that so I can uh, I get a, a light shadow across my image and I'm also using that with the clock and the butterfly just to add a bit more um, depth to the page well here I am about ready with the shadowing of my paper and I am going to ink the edges with the stays on yet black ink pad and then adding the date and my signature and that's about it for this page um, quite happy with how this turned out and uh, hope you like it as well. See you again very soon guys. Bye bye.